Hello, I'm Denchi, and this video will be quite quick because all we're really taking a look at is hardware accelerated encoding in a new script that I added to Vinci Convert. Now, if you don't know what Vinci Convert is and you haven't seen that video, well, I've basically made these two basic scripts to compress footage to put in DaVinci Resolve, the video editor, so you can use it in the free version for Linux, which doesn't support many, like, uh, common codecs, like, for example, MPEG-4. It only supports very, very specific uncompressed codecs. So you need an uncompressed footage to put it in Resolve. And I've made various scripts, well, one script, to compress footage from DaVinci Resolve once it renders the final video because it renders the really big uncompressed files because it doesn't have those codecs in the free version. Now, today I'll be showing off how to make, well not how to make, but how to use the new, um, basically, uh, NVIDIA NVENC accelerated script that I added to Vinci Convert because uh, this is a compression script because with uncompression it, it kind of doesn't matter because uncompression is just very like ridiculously fast anyway so it doesn't it doesn't really matter um, and the speeds you're gonna see from this are going to be much faster um, basically the scripts that I wrote uh, v compress and v uncompress were made to work on as much hardware as possible they're basic fmpeg scripts they don't use any specific hardware encoding options but I made a special version I'll just uh, cat it real quick it's bin v n Compress. If you reclone my my um, my little GitLab repository, which I will link in the description and instructions on how to install this, you'll see it's just I've just made a, a version of the compression script which uses H.264 NVENC. Now NVENC, because it uses your NVIDIA GPU, is going to encode things much 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 faster, obviously. But the issue is is that normally the quality is a little worse, which is why I didn't really make this script at first because I thought nobody's really going to want to use it. But after using it for a while, I noticed the, the, the difference wasn't really noticeable unless you really like have a keen eye for this kind of stuff. And if you have a keen eye for this kind of stuff, you're probably using uncompressed footage anyway, so none of this really matters to you. But when it comes to encoding in this way, uh, this script, so VN compress that will basically look for .mov files which you've rendered in DaVinci Resolve and compress them to very very small and efficient NVENC H.264 format in .mp4 specifically and it, it will do it very very quickly because it will use your NVIDIA GPU so it's no wonder that obviously you need an NVIDIA GPU for this. In terms of AMD acceleration I would make a script for that, but I don't have AMD hardware to test it on. So maybe if I get on my hands on like some friends or some relatives AMD like uh, powered graphics card computer thing, then I might be able to make one of those. Uh, I don't even know if if the FFmpeg gets any better performance on AMD graphics cards, but because Nvidia has weird proprietary stuff, this script is quite useful. So basically, let me put this into perspective. So normally, when you have a footage that you try to put in DaVinci Resolve, like static that night before, you would do my command v compress, and well, I'm not in the directory yet. Sorry, v uncompress. I'm getting it all wrong. V uncompress, and it uncompresses the footage, and now we can import this into DaVinci Resolve. Uh, but the thing is, if you have a bigger file, like for example, I don't know, this is the outro to all my videos. Imagine for whatever reason I'd want to um, uh, compress my outro for use. Now I could sit here and use the V compress thing, and it will compress it. But as you can see, the speed is quite slow. It's 0 0.5, 0 0.48. It's around half speed, which means which means this 20 second clip will take around. 40 to you know 45 seconds even 50 maybe even a minute to essentially just sit there and comp compress but the thing is uh, you don't have to do this you don't have to do any of this in terms of waiting around if you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of quality because that nvenc format you can use vn compress which is the new command that's been added once again the installation instructions are going to be in the description you press enter and boom we're looking at 2.6 2.7 2.8 almost speed so this is going to be done really really quite look at that it's already done obviously you open it up and um it's not exactly the same quality of the original if you open up the original you'll notice you see this is much well it's not that much better uh, but like if you compare them side by side you can clearly tell this is worse but because of the higher speed that you get from it, and just because of how efficient it is, especially for larger and less complicated videos, like a scene like this, this is quite visually complex. Like, it's, it's quite hard to make this a small file. 
If you really need that high fidelity, just use the default V compress and do it the slow way. Just wait for that, you know. But if you're in a pinch, you really need to get things done quickly for whatever reason, then you can use VN compress and boom. Well, I don't know why it's outputting to .mov .mp4, but uh, I'll, I'll fix that later. But uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Thanks for watching the video, and be sure to update the version. Yeah, thanks.